Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a layout using Tracy Reed's um, Renewal uh, collection, which is new for January. And I'm part of a um, YouTube hop with the design team. So when I um, saw this collection, I thought it was absolutely beautiful and absolutely perfect for documenting the walking challenges that my daughter and I have done in 2022 and uh, want to continue in 2023. They're virtual challenges and you get a medal when you're finished. So I created a quick sketch, which you can see that I've just put to one side there and then printed out the papers I wanted to use. As I haven't got a 12 by 12 printer, um, I, what I did was printed out the this grey with the white spot on my A4 printer twice so that I could basically stitch <laughs> stick them together to create um, not quite A12 because A12? 12 by 12 um, because I wanted to use them as a mat for this layout and then I printed out some of the 5 by 8 papers that I just fell in love with. I love the pinks and the blues in this collection, they're just so beautiful. So having printed out this um, grey and white spot paper, I just cut it down so that I could make a mat um, leaving about um, a quarter of an inch, half inch border all the way around of the white card and stuck that down. Um, and I think you can hardly see um, where that join is, where I've joined them together. But by doing it that way, I kept the scale right for the 12 by 12. Um, then it was a case of choosing which of the two um, 5 by 8 Traveller's Notebook type uh, papers I wanted to use um, as my next layers on this um, layout. I've really fought with my tape gun throughout this whole layout. Um, the tape kept popping off. Anyway, I chose this one. I love the dusky pink with the flowers on and I love the rainbow one and side by side. I think they just looked gorgeous. And then I decided to mount the photo on this um, pinky one with the check with the checks. Yep, I think they are um, as the first layer and then to use one of the dark blue ones as the second layer. With all of these layers, I actually used my distressing tool uh, around the edges apart from on the grey one, um, just to give a bit of texture to this layout. So having done the pink, I then chose the blue, tried it on the star one, um, but actually preferred this darker blue one to as the final matte, which I, yep, I did remember, <laughs> to uh, distress the edge on this one as well. I've got my sketch up the top right hand side, you can't actually see on the video, but I was keeping quite well to that sketch. I then tipped out all the embellishments that I'd used my um, silhouette to cut out and went through them all to choose the ones I wanted to use on this layout. So many motivational words um, and quotes that I wanted to use. I've wanted to use this tag that's got um, 01 January on it. And I liked the um, little uh, piece that said plan on it as well, but I don't think I end up using that in the end. Um, also liked this circle one that's split in half with um, Welcome 2023 on it, which I thought was good. Um, the photo obviously is all the medals that we achieved last year, or I achieved last year. My daughter did slightly different ones um, and going forward we want to do some more for next year. The numbers that were on the embellishment sheet I thought were great and they could represent all the um, miles that we walked last year. I think I checked at the end of the year and I think I'd walked about 520 miles on our walks. That's the ones that I've recorded. What we do is we try and go out um, five times a week and do at least 30 minutes, um, which is good for us physically and mentally. Um, and we've had a great fun doing this and completing all the virtual challenges. So back to the layout. I did like that blue paper with the stars on so I decided to use my circle punch and cut some um, circles out with that to use as bases for the embellishment clusters and then to bring some of that yellow in from the rainbow paper I chose the diamond paper and cut some more circles out with that. Uh, chose a couple more of the motivational um, quotes. I like that um, circle at the top there now the number one that says make uh, makes me happy because the walking does make me happy and without that I'd be actually very miserable if I don't get out then I do notice the difference in my mood for sure so having chosen where all those are going to go is a case of sticking everything down um, 
photo down first and then this little banner just onto the photo um, because I liked the yellow in that, picking up on the yellow in the medal. And then on this little journaling card, um, I found the word strip that said begin again, which I thought was absolutely perfect because we are beginning again with our challenges for this year. So I stuck that on the little card and stuck that down and then a case of putting all the other bits into place. That was a little strip that I cut off the circle that's gone on to the number one. I thought might as well use that up as well. And then when it came to the numbers, um, I decided to lift some of them up onto or raise some of them up on dimensional foam, which I've got some nice, really thin foam, which I got off Amazon, which is really good for the this sort of um, thin numbers. Um, much as I liked the circle at the top there, once when I came to put it all together, I didn't like it. <laughs> and I decided I wanted a banner piece there instead. So cut myself a, a little bit of a banner piece and fishtailed it. And here you can see starting to put down the numbers, ripped that number three, but I managed to get it stuck back on the page so you don't actually notice that it's ripped. Um, and I will leap ahead in a minute you'll see me I think put one of them onto foam and then I leap ahead because you don't want to sit and watch me stick all of these down because it did take a little while to get all of these stuck down as you can see this is really nice thin foam which is and it bends quite easily as well I'm gesticulating here as I'm talking showing you how it bends with my finger but you can't see me doing that anyway so that's the numbers all down and then I found this little um like the little banner strip here to go across stuck it down and then realized I wanted the circle underneath fortunately my glue had not set so I was able to lift it up stuck it down trimmed off the circle turned it back got the other two pieces that I wanted to go over there and realized that they needed to go under that as well and fortunately managed to lift it up again without ripping the paper underneath so that was good I was obviously working quite quickly in order to get those done in time so having done all of that, I looked at it and I thought, mm, you know what, I think I can think I can add some flowers on here without going too over the top. So picked out some of the flowers to balance the colours to make sure I'd got the yellow um, and blue in each of the clusters that I did. So as you can see, fiddling about a bit here without sticking things down, stuck in some leaves. So I did a cluster around the number one and stuck those down. And oh, yeah, struggled a bit getting that one under there. I must remember not to put glue too far on the edges of things so that I can tuck things under. Didn't try to put the uh, tape runner on those leaves because I knew I'd just rip them. And then I did another few flowers just down on this bottom right here and raised this one up on some foam just to give a bit more dimension down in this corner and I thought the flowers echoed well because you have got the flower on that little journaling card that says begin again so that brings the flowers into the layout and of course there are the flowers on the pink paper so tuck that little leaf under eventually <laughs> cut it down a bit so I could actually get it in there we go that's the leaf in and then decided to put one the other side which I think looks quite nice I like how that looks so then just tried some flowers up on the top right but that really was a bit too much so left it just with the two clusters of flowers and then added my journaling in about uh, my daughter Penny and myself doing our walks she's actually doing the um, Lord of the Rings walk at the moment which is taking her an awfully long time because there's a lot to walk so that was all done and then grabbed my Nouveau Drops, that was my arm going up to my Nouveau Drops above my head in a grey which I just added in in several spots just to finish it off and give it a little bit of shine and that is my layout finished. So if you want to hop over onto uh, Trace's blog there's more about the YouTube hop on her blog and also in my description below are links to all the other participants of this YouTube hop so please have a look at those and pop over and leave some comments with them um, there's some fantastic work from the rest of the design team and I will look forward to joining you again soon with another layout so thanks for now and we'll see you soon Bye -bye.